Now for, if I was to choose, do I want a downhill bike to ride the bike park or do I want a trail bike? I feel like it's a tough decision. Schleyer lap? Yeah. You think Good I got luck. it on the downhill bike? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Chokes it all up. Can I see if I can make this? Oh, way easier. I'm not even picking a line. I'm just What's going on you guys? Mo Awesome from Awesome MTB. If you've ever been to Whistler Bike Park or if you ever have any plans to, you've probably been wondering, should you get a trail bike or a downhill bike to ride in the park? I had an opportunity to ride a downhill bike, so I figured I would ride it, test it, see how it feels to ride Whistler Bike Park on a downhill bike to help you make the decision easier. So I'll let you guys know my results after the video. But before we get into today's video, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Wowie Lifestyle. Like you guys know, they played a huge role in our Whistler trip and helped out a ton with our season passes so we are so thankful to be working with them. Wowie Lifestyle is a company that takes everyday product and makes them environmentally friendly. They have really cool products like these bamboo toothbrushes that me and Hannah absolutely love. These awesome razors, these produce mesh bags so you can feel a little less guilty at the grocery store using all that plastic and a ton of other really cool products. In addition to being a small family run business, Wowie Lifestyle also takes 1% of sales and donates it to help plant trees. Uh, till this day they've planted 15,000 trees. Me and Hannah have been using their products the last few months and absolutely love them and we're just really stoked on the company overall. So we have a really cool coupon code if you guys want to try any of their product. It's awesome MTB10. You guys get 10% off your order while also helping save the planet. And yeah, we're so stoked to be working with Bowie. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video series. Without further ado, let's get after today's video. Ew. How's it going, Hannah? Good. How's your time in Whistler, Mo? It's been really good. Been riding the uh, the trail bikes. Yeah. It's been really fun, but I feel left out. Like, look at all those guys. They're all on downhill Dang. bikes, and I've never ridden a downhill bike in the bike park. You want to go demo one? They have rentals. We don't have the budget. I mean, we yeah, spent all true. our money on veggie dogs and <laughs> too many fries. Yeah, but are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Just joking you guys, I didn't actually steal any one bike. You guys can't tell, this is Van Can's downhill bike. I've never ridden a downhill bike. Uh, well, I've ridden one for like an hour, about six years ago. So I figured this would be a good time to experience Whistler Bike Park on a, an appropriate bike. So let's get after it. Woo! Schleyer lap? Yeah. You think I got it on the downhill bike? Good luck. <laughs> you think I have enough have bike? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, this trail is definitely a little harder. I'm still skipping that. I could probably hit that, but whoop. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so much nicer on this thing. Phew. Oh yeah. This. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's so much crazier how easy this is on a downhill bike. Woo! Uh, this section should be really interesting. <laughs> it is scary how much easier everything is. It literally just soaks it all up. Woo! Let's see if I can make this. Oh, way easier. I'm not even picking the line. I'm just letting it go. Woo! Well, I've never even taken that line before. Oh my god, this is insane. I just hooked it. You hooked it? Yeah, the left oh, line, but. Really? It yeah. felt so serious. So, I want to hug everything. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm taking lines away. Like, this is insane. Oh, and I even. Oh my god, what is going on right now? <laughs> Ah. 
You're a much better rider on a downhill bike. Really? Yeah, you just oh, you want to hit everything. It feels so smooth, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I 100% believe it. This is mental. I know, we see a downhill bike. This is where we need downhill bikes. this little slab I just want to huck into it oh, I don't want to break his wheels but what is, this is insane uh -huh. I'm just eating it up I'm not even trying at this point you guys straight down the middle this drop oh my god like freaking butter <laughs> it's yeah it's it mind blowing like butter huh yeah and the brake bumps how, how do they feel like there's nothing and the brake it doesn't actually affect uh, the brake bumps as much it's more of like you just do features you just never thought you would do it's so freaking slack slack yeah you're just like yeah. okay i'll huck this that's crazy i want more hucks <laughs> Like there was nothing there. Uh, uh, uh. Woo! Uh. <laughs> this is way too easy. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a game changer. <laughs> oh, what am I doing on a trail bike? <laughs> this downhill bike, it literally just changes the game. <laughs> hey, the tight twisty stuff, no problem. Howdy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Right through the middle. I didn't literally, oh my god, this trail is so easy on this bike. <laughs> <laughs> the section's a little fast. I really want to test this bike. Oh, making a corner and loose. Uh, the front end is just a little less responsive. But... Oh, no problem at all. This is ridiculous. How's it going? Whew. Not as poppy, but still fun. Uh, try to stay line this. Woo! I will say, I'm just as beat up. I don't feel like it helps out too much there. 
So as you guys saw in the video, I had a ton of fun on that YT Tuesday. I'm Tuesday. Not, is it Tuesday? I think so. Correct us in the comment section, but basically I had a ton of fun on that downhill bike in the bike park, and it was a very interesting experience. So what I felt on the bike is I felt like the bike park became a lot easier. There, I was taking lines that I wasn't normally taking. Everything just felt way more stable. I attribute a lot of that to how slack the head angle of the bike was. Um, when it came time for braking bumps, I know I probably have to spend a little bit more time dialing in that suspension, but I didn't feel like its strength was keeping me less beat up. I felt like its strength was keeping me just super safe in the bike park and allowing me to try lines that I normally wouldn't necessarily try on like that 135 mil Noli, even though that bike handled the park amazingly well. So I would say in terms of just taking different lines, taking bigger lines, staying a little bit safe and having a little bit more confidence, that was the strength of the downhill bike. Now for if I was to choose, do I want a downhill bike to ride the bike park or do I want a trail bike? I feel like it's a tough decision. Uh, the trail bike, whenever I ride a trail bike in the Whistler bike park, I just feel like everything becomes a little bit more fun from a nimbleness perspective. You just kind of treat the bike park like one big all mountain playground and you really just have the ability to kind of whip the bike around, move it around and just everything becomes a little bit harder just because you're on a bike with a little bit less travel so you have a little bit more of a technical challenge with the trail. With that being said when it comes time to try a new line or try a new drop it can get a little bit intimidating on a trail bike and you might not necessarily have that confidence you need to try a new line or try a new drop so that's where the downhill bike came into play. I honestly felt like Schleyer, which is a trail that I know I wasn't hitting like every main line on there. I feel like I had a ton of confidence just from being on a downhill bike and the trail almost became easy. So um, it, it's a tough thing. I would say like if I was visiting Whistler Bike Park and I knew that I wanted to hit every big feature, and I wanted to hit everything, just have a good time and I'd probably rent a downhill bike because it was really fun. It gave me a lot of confidence. It allowed me to hit all those lines. With that being said, if I was a local like we kind of are right now, uh, to Whistler Bike Park and we had season passes. I really like having the trail bike in the park. I just feel like it makes everything really fun, keeps your technical skills up and just gives you a little bit of an extra challenge and you also get a little bit more of a nimble ride. With that being said, I don't think there's a right answer there. Obviously you can do way more on a downhill bike and some videos I've seen of like Remy attacking the bike park on his downhill bike, mind blowing. So I'm just assuming that if I ride the bike park a little bit more, I'm gonna shred like Remy. So no. those are, is that not? No. <laughs> not Let me know in the comments section if you get what what's no. your guys' favorite Remy video because we've seen a ton <laughs> but that guy is a freaking legend monster um with all of that being said I just think that Whistler Bike Park is really fun super stoked to be here this early in the season I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like this style definitely hit that like button let me know in the comment section and also let us know what other trails should we be hitting in Whistler Bike Park because we're super pumped to be up here but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh until next time you guys ride awesome you how crazy do I look you <laughs> Probably don't put that in. <laughs>